Okay, to get started with my turkey chorizo recipe, I am going to be using five guajillo chiles. These are dried chilies, and I am basically going to open these up, remove the seeds, the veins, and the stems. By the way, I will also include the link to my original chorizo recipe. This recipe is just slightly different. It's a different variation that I'm using for turkey meat, but you can use the other one as well. Okay, once you've cleaned out all of your dried chilies, I'm going to place them in a pot of water and I am going to bring the water up to a simmer. And once it starts simmering, I am going to allow these to steep for at least 30 minutes or until they are soft and pliable. Now, before boiling your chilies or steeping them, make sure you give them a rinse because sometimes these dried chilies come with a lot of dirt or debris on them. Okay, so while my chilies are steeping, I am going to go over the other ingredients. I'm going to be using three cloves of garlic and I will be mincing this. You can add more or less, it's up to you. I'm going with three cloves of garlic. I'm also going to be using a half teaspoon of Mexican oregano. I'm also going to be using one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. This is actually optional. Because I'm using turkey, I thought that would go well. I'm also going to use a half teaspoon of ground cumin. Again, you can adjust that to your preference. One teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper, one to two bay leaves. This is all I had left. There were two small ones. And I'm also going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Again, you can just use a pinch or you can exclude it if that's something that you don't want. I'm also going to be using a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. If you find that you don't want to use this amount of apple cider vinegar, maybe start with a tablespoon and work your way up, but I'm going with a quarter cup. Okay, so now I am going to puree my pliable soaked chilies. I'm also going to add the apple cider vinegar and the bay leaf. You can definitely add all the seasonings and spices and puree this, but I'm just going to puree the bay leaf, the chilies, and the apple cider vinegar. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of the soaking liquid just to help things along. Okay, at this point, my chilies, bay leaf, apple cider vinegar are all pureed. You can sieve this for anything that didn't get pureed, but I'm just going to put it right on top of my ground turkey. I am using one pound of ground turkey. You can definitely use beef, pork, chicken, the protein of your choice, but today I'm going with ground turkey. So once I add the puree to the bowl, I'm also going to add all of my dried seasonings and spices along with this garlic and give everything a good mix. Now that all of my ingredients are combined well, I'm going to store it in a Ziploc bag 
and I am going to allow this to marinate for at least two hours, but honestly, overnight for best results. And you could also separate this into two eight ounce Ziploc bags and freeze them for well over a month. I've actually had frozen chorizo for around two months and it was still good. Okay, so when you're ready to use it, you can make a variety of things, but my favorite way is breakfast tacos. So here I'm adding some scrambled egg to cooked potato and my brown chorizo meat. And I am just going to make this delicious chorizo, egg, and potato and put that in some breakfast tacos. Be on the lookout for my breakfast tacos video. I will be putting it out later this week and I'll show you what I did with this. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.